This is just a short video to show how to use the short code in Easy Mobile Site Generator to put the current year onto your mobile site pages. Now, I created this short code so that people could use it in the footer of their mobile sites for a copyright year so that each year as the sites are uh, older then the copyright year will automatically change over without you needing to go back and re redo it. It's very simple um, you just need to uh, put in a short code for this so the current year is and then just put short code easy MB year that's it that's all you need to do and if I just update that we should see that that has the current year which is 2012 so if I come down the page and we look at our preview it now shows the current year is 2012 um, the way I would expect you using that is in the theme that you've got here I'm using a, a clone theme of the black on grey called demo black on grey um, if we go to easy mobile themes I find that theme here it is here, demo black on grey, that's my clone theme. I always clone my themes um, for individual clients and things like that. I don't use the, the built-in themes um, and modify them. I always make a, a new copy for each client that I'm working on so that changes I make in one theme don't affect any other clients uh, by accident. Now the way I expect you using this um, current year short code is to come down to the footer content and put something like this so if we put a, a copyright sign and then we put the short code easy mb year and then put your name so for, for me that's going to be push button computing so I just put that there that's going to put my uh, short code in the footer content for everywhere that I use this theme so I'll just save my theme and if we go back to our site now we should see that that's in a little footer section at the bottom of the page now because I haven't got any real content on this page it might look a little bit odd it's probably half up the page rather than being right at the very bottom um, but you'll see the effect and that's all I'm really trying to, uh, to, to show you in this particular video yeah, there we go. So it says copyright 2012 push button computing. And so if I created another new page, then that would also go on the on the bottom of the same page. Let's go and do that. Let's just add um, another page here, just so we can see it actually happen. Um, so let's just call that one another page. Uh, uh. Sorry for clicking the wrong button there. Uh, this is another page. A pair for that one is my demo one. Uh, same type there. Another page. So again, there's nothing on this page. It's, it's just purely to show you that when I save that, the footer comes again, and it will have that. Uh, uh, your code already added to it. So if I go down and look at the, the section down there, you see it's already added onto the page there. The reason this is appearing sort of halfway up the page is because I've only got this one line of text. Normally it will go down at the bottom, and you've also got a setting which uh, lets you put the footer at a certain percentage down the page, a certain number of pixels down the page if you want to control that. Okay, that's it. So adding that short code. Let me just go back to uh, the main page of this site, just so you can see it there. It just purely put that short code there, wherever you need it on your site. It can go in the main content, it can go in the footers, anywhere. And it, it will just show you the current year. But as I said, it's mainly for uh, copyrights at the bottom of the page.